Hey, what's up and welcome to Hack My Growth. Today we're gonna to be talking about the importance of having an optimized site structure. Let's go. Are you looking to grow your business but you're not sure where to start? That's where we come in. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If this is your first time watching or maybe you've been watching a while and haven't yet hit subscribe, please do so now. We would love to have you join our community. And don't forget to turn on alerts, that way you know every time we post a new video. So we're talking about optimizing your site structure. This is an area where you can get a ton of benefit, not only from a user experience point of view, but also from a search engine crawling point of view and can help you increase the way that your site is being crawled with and could potentially also help your rankings. So one rule that you should stick to is if your site has less than 10,000 pages, which I would assume is most of the people watching this video, that all your content should be accessible within four clicks. That's right, just four clicks. It makes it easier for people to find your content and it also makes sure that the, the bot crawls deep enough into your page to see all of that important content that you've spent so much time writing. It really blows my mind, but there's a lot of sites that have really poorly designed site structures and as a result they lose their crawl budget which means that the search engines don't crawl very deep in their sites and it means that all of this content that they're creating it either takes forever to get indexed or could potentially never be indexed which means it's not going to show up in the search results which means it's pointless from a lot of standpoints if you're trying to drive traffic organically so there's this debate right do you have a flat site structure or a deep site structure well for most intensive purposes what we're talking about here is a flat site structure. This means instead of just building this, this one uh, level of navigation that drops down farther and farther and farther and farther and farther, you're gonna have everything on this flat plane and it's gonna be divided into sections that make sense based on topics and themes. So if your site is currently set up like a deep site structure or maybe you're using a flat site structure but it's not really optimized, we're gonna talk about six steps to creating that optimized site structure. The first thing you wanna do is inventory all of your content. This is understanding what is your blog pieces, which are your assets, which are your core site pages, and then breaking those down into themes. What are the different topics and areas that you cover? So for our site, SEO, inbound marketing, email marketing, social media marketing, maybe uh, analytics, things of that nature, video production. And we're gonna start to put all of our content under these different themes and really understand how it all fits together. The next thing we wanna do is start with our top level navigation. This is things like you know home, about us, solutions, um, our blog, contact us. What are those pieces of content, those pages you need at the top level that are usually very visible to your website users? What are those going to be? What are those meta topics going to be for your site? What you wanna do then is then work in reverse. So you've got the top set up. Now you wanna to go to your most detailed pieces of content and understand each one of those pieces of content and how they align up. Maybe this is the content that's the furthest down uh, so if this is SEO at the top, maybe you've got a piece of content that talks about uh, how to optimize every single page on your website. Hey, that's kind of crazy, right? That's what we're talking about now. So this is a little bit deeper. This is a more targeted piece of content that talks about one very niche specific piece of SEO. This is gonna be more detailed. Once you've inventoried your content, had your top level navigation done, you've kind of aligned all those bottom level, highly contextual, highly deep pieces of content, you wanna connect the dots. So now you want to build a pathway back to the top. And again, you don't want it to be more than four clicks away. So you don't want to have all these pages in between, but you want something that's going to make sense, right? From a user standpoint and a bot standpoint. So you really want to think of Google. Yes, it's a computer, but it's going to interact with your page as much like a user as it possibly can. So it's going to start reading your content. And if it finds it hard to get to that next level, it's going to stop crawling your content. So you want to connect the dots to make a pathway that seems the most logical. So once you've done that and you've connected all the dots and now you've got your different pieces of content lined up, now you want to see where your secondary pieces of content fit in. This is your legal, this is your uh, maybe about us page, this is your copyright and all of those pages that need to be on your site. How do they fit in? And finally, after you've kind of worked way through this, build a visual hierarchy and look at all of your pages and see how they fit together. You can do this in an Excel map, you can do this in a mind mapping tool, but really what you wanna do is give yourself a visual idea of how your page is going to be laid out, how your website's going to be laid out, and then make sure that it makes sense. If it doesn't make sense to you, it's probably not gonna make sense to your user, and it's definitely not going to make sense to Google. But take the time to optimize your site structure. It's gonna make it easier for your users to interact with your content, 
and it's going to allow Google to understand what your site's truly about. If you got any questions about this, please comment below. We would love to continue the conversation. And until next time, happy marketing.